Hi, this is Steve Rothstein of Rothstein Model Trains. Today we've got a new video for you showing you our newest acquisition. We're going to do an unboxing video on a Broadway Limited Paragon 3 steam locomotive called the uh, 425. It's a Pacific model, light Pacific, which means that it has a 462 configuration for wheels on the leading axle that are not driven, six driving wheels, and then two on a trailing axle. And this one's very interesting because it is the scale model of a train that is still in use, uh, the Reading Blue Mountain and Northern, number 425. The train was originally built in 1928, served pulling coal and passengers until about 1950 when it was retired and was put back in service recently uh, pulling excursion trains uh, out of Port Clinton, Pennsylvania for the Reading, Blue Mountain, and Northern Railroad. And they painted it blue, and this is the first time we've got it. It's a brand new engine for us. We're gonna see how it looks and how it works. So when we open it, They do package these nicely. Uh, let's get that piece of foam out of there so that we can put it on. You'll see that the locomotive is fairly well detailed. Has the bell where the real one does. The blue paint job is a custom done paint for this company that was, or for the original, that was done and they painted it this blue shade. And they did it more just for make it stand out a little better. But I think it's a good looking engine. I bought this one mostly because it's still in service, even though it's a old steam engine. Let's put it on the track and see if we can get it started and what it looks like. Comes with a default address of 03. And it looks like something's wrong with it. Sorry about that. We found that we had a problem where I missed pulling out one of the pieces of foam block that they use to pack it and keep it going. And that's what was causing the problem. So this is all factory programming still. We haven't changed anything. Okay, so we got it coming down. Lights on. You can hear the bell pretty clearly. This is not bad. And just for reference, that speedometer says it's doing a scale 19 miles an hour right now. But we're going to take it up and we're going to go around the track all the way. And then we're going to show you the neat part of what we did. Ninety-six miles an hour. That ain't bad. A little fast, but yeah, we'll go there. But I like the detail on it. I like the paint scheme, which is why I bought it. Uh, we've had good luck with Broadway Limited trains. We actually ordered this one through our local hobby shop, uh, Dibbles Hobbies in San Antonio, and we will put a link for them in the comments or in the description. And one of the other things we got lucky with on this train, which helped convince me to get it, is Atlas made a set of passenger cars. So we kind of get a double unboxing. Atlas has the complete set of the antique style passenger cars that it is using now when it goes on uh, excursions. 
So let me stop the train so we have some time. And we will put the passenger cars on and see how it pulls them. As you can see, the box is a fairly old box. These, even though it's a new train, must have been sitting around as old stock for a while. First time I've done this with Atlas cars. But the packaging looks pretty good. Let's see which one is the observation car here on the end. Gotta figure out how they unwrap these. So we have the observation car, which will be the tail end. And the rest of the coaches pretty much can go on in any order, I think. This is what it looks like with them. We had a little bit of a problem with some of the cars. We had a coupler that doesn't want to couple properly and we're gonna to have to get it fixed, but that's not uncommon with these cars. I think it makes a nice looking train. To give credit where it's due, one of the things we haven't done yet is I just found in the box for the cars is that Atmos gave us separate to plug in all the couples, the, the tubes that go between the cars so that you can see where they join the two as people would walk through and we just have to put them all in. Looks pretty detailed. Now I'm going to have to go up to Pennsylvania again and see the actual original. If you go on YouTube, you can find a lot of videos of the original train. And now you've got an original a video of the N-scale locomotive. Or train. And it looks to me like it's doing a pretty good job on it. So, I'll put a link in the comments for Broadway Limited so you can see what other trains they make. They make a bunch of old and modern uh, locomotives in N scale and HO scale. I will put a link in for Dibble's Hobbies. I strongly recommend them. They will custom order for us. They'll do uh, a lot of work for us. They were helping us today with reprogramming one of our locomotives that we weren't quite satisfied with how the sound was. They're real good at support and ordering, have a decent stop when they can get it. And they put in some advanced reservations for me, like for the new tenders for my Union Pacific Big Boy. We will see you next week, hopefully. Current plan is for us to go explore a new facet of the hobby next Saturday. So my next video, if everything goes as planned, will not be a scale model, uh, end scale, won't be a bad way out. And I'm just gonna leave you with it. It's a different uh, facet of the hobby than we've tried so far. Hopefully that'll get you interested enough to watch the next one. I think you'll find it really enjoyable. I know that my granddaughter loved it when we took her last time. And we're gonna take the other two out this weekend coming up, next weekend. Uh, going to Houston, look at something else. And for everyone else who's interested, the Union Pacific Big Boy will be in Houston in August and in Fort Worth in August. And we're gonna go see that 
hopefully get you a video of the actual train. Thank you very much. Bye.